What is up everybody, it is Og here, back with another video, and in today's video we are in part four of the How to AoE level from one to 60 as a mage video series. This is the Horde portion of this. We're gonna reconnect with the Alliance at 36, but we're still in Horde specific territory. I honestly can't believe that this is not overrun right now on Man Creek, but this location, guys, right here, Daveris Farmstead in Arathai Highlands, will get you from 30 to 36. It is absolutely amazing. If you want, if or if this is overrun, which there's a pretty good chance that this is gonna be overrun, you can also go to STV, do some quests in STV, so Strang of Thorn Vale, uh, while AoE farming. And so honestly, some of the best open world farming you can do is doing quests while just pulling three to four quest mobs at a time, blizzarding them down. Maybe you can pull some more even. But this place right here, guys, is phenomenal if it is open. So this is Dabbery's Farmstead. And so the easiest way to level these guys is to run in. Uh, obviously, you won't have Ice Barrier, but you will have Mana Shield if you need it. And then use a block strategy. And so you can see here, I aggro up as many as I can. I go into the Ice Block, and then I use what's called a Cancel or Ice Block straight into a Nova. So straight into the Nova, get the next Blizzard going. This is your first opportunity to really kill, you know, here's some people I was talking to. <laughs> uh, here's your first opportunity to really kill, you know, double digit mobs at once. We're talking upwards of, I, th I think I killed about 13 mobs in one pool here back in the 34s, 33 or 34 when I was leveling up here the first time. And so it's your first time to really get huge chunks of experience. You can level about hour and a half a level here ish pretty much all the way from 30 to 34 it's going to slow down once you get to 35 36 because these mobs are obviously going to be um a little bit of of a lower level relative to your level but you could see here there's plenty of room around this area to do your blizzard farming strat and everything like that let's quickly go over some specific nuances though i think that you should know first off don't recommend pulling the entire farm at once at your level, you will probably get one shot and it's not gonna be fun. Don't try to do that. You know, you can do it at level 60, it's fine. But at the lower levels, split it into two. So make one side of this one pool, one side of this another pool, and then the outskirting mobs over around here and over around here, other pools to fill time. There's about a five minute respawn timer, maybe seven minutes with the mobs inside this farm. So it's gonna take a little bit for them to respawn. While they're respawning, that's when you can kill the extra mobs on the side. Be careful though, if there are some people coming over, there are quest mobs that are around the side, they're not in the middle, so feel free to kill as many of the middle mobs as you want. But if there is somebody coming over to try to get the quest mobs, be nice to them, help them get the quest done kind of idea. Don't just continuously kill the quest guy over and over and over without letting anybody complete their quest. This is gonna be an amazing spot though, to grind up. What is the cancel aura ice block? So this is the next thing to think about now that we have ice block for AOE farming. So when you come out of Ice Block, you have a couple options to come out of Ice Block. Your first option is just let it expire. Or you can click Ice Block again and it'll come back out, typically, unless you have a macro for it. And so if we just do this and we just let it expire over time, Ice Block actually is going to do, uh, it's gonna take a while to come out of the Ice Block. It's, it doesn't look like it will, but it'll take ever so slightly longer than it would if you use what's called a Cancel Aura. So what is a Cancel Aura? It's literally just a macro that just gets you out of the ice block quicker. So it's slash cancel aura space ice space block. What it does though, is it renders in the game quicker that you're coming out of the ice block, allowing you to very quickly cancel it, Nova, and then get away from the mobs, stopping their leeway and not taking too much damage. If you go into the ice block with, you know, 30% health, no mana shield at this level, you're probably gonna die. And so you wanna have some health, but if you go into the thing with 80% health, you're probably gonna be okay the cancel aura is going to allow you to be okay more times than not because you're able to get off that Nova so much quicker with taking less ticks of damage. So highly recommend using a cancel aura macro. It's what I use in every single one of my AOE farms. Pull one side of this at a time, one side of this at another time, and then loop our way through. If for whatever reason this is overrun, as I said before, quests. You know, there's some really good quests you can actually do over in Hammerfall and really good quests that you can do in Strangothorn Vale that are grouped up for massive amounts of XP. Witherbark Village has a bunch of quests and the mobs are pretty easy to kill. There are some range mobs, that's why we don't AOE farm down there, but they're pretty easy to burn through, get a good amount of experience. And then Strangothorn Vale is probably one of the best leveling locations in the entire game, guys. There are so many different quests you can get. I recommend going to Booty Bay and getting all the quests and Grom Gold Base Camp, getting all the quests that, I think there's literally like 15 to 20 quests, and then knock them out all at once. So just go to all these different locations and AOE farm the mobs as you do the quests. Most of the mobs are going to be beasts, 
or humanoids without range attacks. Sometimes you will have some quests with humanoids with range attacks. So there, obviously you can't do it. Otherwise, though, you can just burn through all these quests while AOE farming at the same time. That's some of the most efficient leveling that you can do. So if this is overwhelmed by, by people and there's just too many people, that's a good option. Last option that I would probably recommend, watch out for these guys, by the way. The heck? Last option I would probably recommend is uh, Duskwood. And so on the Alliance, if you watch the Alliance portion of the series, in the upper 20s to low 30s, they're going to be down here in this area, AOE farming. This is a fantastic spot on the Worgen. You could also leverage this to get to the low 30s, probably would stop at about 32, maybe as high as 34. If this is overwhelmed and you do just want to AOE farm, just be cautious on a PvP server if you do go down there, because you might just get camped. It's a possibility we run into. But this Daveries farm set is absolutely fantastic. Once you hit level 36, you'll be able to rejoin the Alliance at the next farm, which we'll talk about in the next video. Let's talk about the spec as we work through here. We are currently level 30. Where do we want to go from here? Well, here's our options. We have Ice Shards, which is going to increase critical strike damage of our spells. Blizzard can't crit. Don't need to worry about crit if it can't crit. Shatter, same kind of idea. No, no reason to try to crit these mobs more. If you do want to go a hybrid build and you want to have some Kona Cold on the mobs after Nova as well, you can go the Shatter spec. I just always recommend waiting until Blizzard's debuff of the slow falls off on the mobs. Otherwise, Kona Cold actually won't slow the mobs. And then you're just going to find yourself running away from mobs because it, it won't work. Typically, though, what we're going to do is we're going to go Piercing Ice. We're going to go two more points into Piercing Ice. That's going to get us to level 42. From there, you know, I personally go Improve Kona Cold for three, and then I work on Shatter from there. Another good option, though, for a lot of people is to go over into Frostbolt. And they use Frostbolt instead, and they use Rank 1 Frostbolt to pull mobs, just to give them a little bit of extra time on the mobs that are closer to them. Whichever way you want to go, you kind of have some, some leeway for the next eight points. The next eight points in, you know, Improve Frostbolt, Shatter, Kona Cold, whichever you'd like to do, working our way to Ice Barrier. And then obviously at Ice Barrier, we'll be going Ice Barrier. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment below to let me know so. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other videos, please let me know in the comments below. Also check out the description for the Twitch where I do all this live. And also for my Twitter and Discord where you guys can be notified of any future updates and when I'm going to go live on stream. So I'll see you guys in the next video.